Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to make some sea creatures using simple shapes. So let's start off with an oval. That can be the base of your jellyfish. Then all you need to do is make some curvy lines coming down. And in art it's often good not to make everything exactly the same length. Sometimes it's good to vary it. Okay, and squeeze one coming behind the other one in there. Okay, and then what about a fish? How to make a fish? Again, you can use an oval shape. Ovals work really well. And then we can just use some triangles here. So we can use one triangle there, one triangle there, one triangle here and then you can just take your eraser in there and if you want to make it more smooth looking go ahead there we go the idea for this art project is to use bold and simple lines so that your shapes really stand out what else could we make we could make an octopus shape okay so that's kind of like a teardrop and an octopus has very round eyes, so we can make some circles in there. Kind of near the top of the head, I believe. And then the legs scroll around. And we're making some big curvy lines. Do you see how the octopus is going behind the jellyfish? That jellyfish better watch out. And he's coming behind the fish and right off the page. Where is that arm going? And he's going to come down here. And off the page again. Whenever you're doing art, it's great to go off the page. It feels funny at first, but then you realize that it it looks like it's capturing a moment when you do that. Okay, so octopuses have, octopi I should say, have eight legs, right? But I only have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. Hmm. So let's just pretend that one's coming from around the back and winding around the head and coming off the side. Are we trying to make everything perfect, boys and girls? No, we're not. We're actually playing and we're seeing what looks kind of cool and we're going with that. Okay? And you know what? You can use your eraser. Just don't use it too much. Ooh, this octopus is all tangled up. All right, there we go. There's your octopus. And we know that octopus have what kind of shapes do they have on them? They have some circles. They have a few circles. Maybe we'll make one right here, just to show that we know how to make a circle. Now, speaking of circles, okay, speaking of, I don't, you know what? I have to say it looks too close to the edge of the page there. Let's, let's not make it look like we are scared of the edge of the page. Okay, let's put it right here. Let's put our circle right right here there we go all right what else could we make well we've used that oval we've used another oval we could use a circle right here we've got some circles there we've got some beautiful curvy lines as you often see in the ocean what about sea anemones they sort of live on the rocks let's make a rock down here they sort of live in the rocks right let's go off the page now, if I remember from that that um, video that we just saw, I think there were little triangular shapes that were going all around the sea anemone. Am I making it exactly like the sea anemone on the on the video? No, I'm not. I'm going to erase a little bit of this area here so I can put another sea anemone coming behind the first one. Okay, we're overlapping it. And we're going to make the circle in there. Should we make another one? I'll make one more.
There we go. Coming behind the octopus down there. Now, what if you were to start? What if you just felt like making a triangle for some reason? What animal could you make with a triangle? Well, there's lots. And what if you wanted to make another triangle on the back? What could you do with that? Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to do some of these. these. I call these crooked rectangles because look, here's a rectangle right here. There's two rectangles. But I'm going to make some more. Here we go. Gonna make these go behind the other ones. Can you guess what I'm trying to make? Oh, I'm gonna make a little one. I'm trying to make a crab. Now I'm seeing that a crab needs some little details here, right? They often, their eyes are on tentacles. And I'm gonna use my trusty eraser now. I'm gonna erase this little part. I think I'm gonna make his back end go a little flat. This is the beauty of working with shapes. You can just change them up. What if I change this front part also? Take off the tip of that triangle. How does that look now? Oh, there we go. I feel good about that crab. Now, <clears throat> in behind here, just for fun, I'm going to put some very light curvy lines. Very light curvy lines. This is showing the flow of the water. This makes it seem like you're in the ocean. I'm just having too much fun. That's my problem when I start to draw. I can't stop. And now I know you need a turn. Okay? I'm gonna show you, after you draw your picture, how you color it and what media you use. And by media, I mean, are you gonna color with pencil crayon or crayon? Do you have any watercolor paints? Acrylic paints are very bright. You decide to use what you have, I guess, right? Use what you've got. And if you're in the classroom, your teacher will give you something to use. But what you use will create a mood. How do you feel about under the sea? Is it kind of scary under there? I want, we're gonna have a video soon about how the colors you use show your feelings. Good luck.